So in this video, I will show how you can set up email automation using Zapier. So I'm using illustration. So this template I have for combining email automation and LinkedIn outreach, um, basically from Phantom Buster and email. In order to run email automation with Zapier, you will need to connect Zapier to Google Sheets because that's usually going to be your input for email automation and one mail provider, so I'm using Gmail, but it uh, Zapier also support like Outlook or even like just SMTP, so you can set up email automation really easily for almost like any uh, email provider. So I would want to create this app. As startup stage, you want to use Trigger, which will be from Google Sheet. You need to select in here, so the specific event you want to have new row or updated spread row. And then you will need so to select the account, I already connected it. Uh, if you are connected, it will just like pop you up how to connect it, it's quite easy to do. And in spreadsheet, I want to look for this one. So it connects a specific spreadsheet, and then like you can pick the specific sheet in uh, this. Uh, so for my spreadsheet, I always have like if it's a input for Zapier, it start by input Zapier. So here's input Zapier one. <coughs> you will test the trigger, and it will basically collect the information from the first. So I always have also in my spreadsheet like uh, doing data in the first line, so you can do the setup even so you don't have data yet. Uh, and then in second stage, you want Gmail, email, uh, like the event would be to be sending email, continue, continue, so you need to be connected, and you need to be picking like here in two, so you have a current email, so you want to be sending to this, um, from is back is account you have connected to, so it's straightforward. You can customize the name you would have. Uh, so I can find the second Fabian Tetris. Uh, yeah, you can like you have other option. You can set up reply to like it's not relevant here. Like I will have subject test, uh, and like here you can also um, like add dynamic text. So you have like. Uh, last name in here, but like you can like use any of the colon from the spreadsheet uh, to be part of the copy of the mail form. You have a colon with civility, so you can be using it uh, and this kind of thing, and like have whatever text you want to have. Uh, you can pick like email signature if you have some email signature set up on your account. Uh, you can also have like automated label on this kind of thing. And then you just need to be testing automation once, so it will be sending like one email uh, test, and you can be checking in your Gmail that you have properly sent this email. So if I look to send, you have this test email that I just listed out, so it's working properly, and you can click publish, and then from now on, every time there will be a new line uh, appearing in here, so which is based on some logic and spreadsheet, it will be sending an email. So you can likely use this spreadsheet as uh, this uh, template for sending email remarketing to people who um, accept contact request, or to send like email pitch after people connected on LinkedIn but didn't actually reply. 